Good evening, press. That's right. Nerd Generation, AK News. MCU Future Series. The collaboration that's knocking down doors and taking names. How you guys doing out there? We understand the situation that we in. We give our hearts and prayers to everyone going through these troubling times, these turbulent times. But I think that um, with God's grace, we're going to make it. And if at some point in time, um, Nerd Generation and Egghead News is contributing to maybe a little relief or distraction from what's going on, we appreciate it and thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Tracy S. 594 with Egghead News and with me collaborating on the collaboration that's taking the nation. I just made that one up. Sound like an old, uh, old uh, Wolfman Jack thing. Ah, Wolfman Jack. I threw it back there. But ladies and gentlemen, Nerd Generation himself, the Dick Clark of Nerd Generation, Pablo. Say it twice, Solano. Pete, what's going on? Not much, man. Not much. We're looking forward to talking about this. We've been talking about this very separate for a very long time. Yeah, that's right. We cheated once again. We always cheating around here. I don't know. I don't know. You guys better call uh, the bookies. But we cheated around this, and today we're pretty much going to act more as if we are scheduling managers at a network. And we're going to act like pundits or critics or whatever words you want to say. And uh, Before we get into it, click on that subscribe button. Click on it. Keep joining the fun. That's Nerd Generation. So you can uh, pile over, get on, the, get in your big wheel or you know, whatever. Go over to AK News, click on that one too. You know, we yeah, like man. we like doing these shows, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we love the genre. We always did. We always said. And we once again thank everyone that's supporting us. And anyway, I don't want to get nostalgic and build up a teardrop. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today MCU Future Series. We are going to be talking about Disney Plus. Ah, P. We have yet to break this one in, but we're going to break the glass yeah. on this one. See, that's where the glass mm-hmm. sound effect came in. <laughs> um, this is so important, and I, we, we want to emphasize that. This, this is so important on so many levels to the future of the genre and the future of Marvel Studios, the MCU, it doesn't, it's not like that kid across the street. Wait, that's a mess. But over here, <laughs> stability. Ah, thank you. It's linear. You know, one, two, three, ABC. It follows mm-hmm. along accordingly. My, my, my cousin, Yolanda, she loves that when I do that. Yolanda! You know, that was a shout-out to my cousin. Um, this is great on so many parts where we, ladies and gentlemen, we have nine topics. Pablo and I are just going to run through. What the topic you have a list is? Right, you, you have the list right there? I have my list with me. Okay, because I'm, I'm looking at a list from Collider. They got all the shows that are I got nine shows. I got nine shows list. that we're talking about in this podcast. Okay. okay. The nine shows, and ladies and gentlemen, we're going to list it for you. Ready? Is Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Do you want to go for them one by one? You, do you want to go with them one by one, or you want to do it We're going to go one by one. Okay. And then we can do it overall. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. you guys, you guys in the audience like it. And, and, and ladies and gentlemen, we're giving you that, 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 that meeting that we've been in where people are hashing out operations. This is great. I love this. It's like being in the, being in the conference room at the office. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, What If, She-Hulk, WandaVision, Loki, and Hawkeye. Now, was that nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. No, I think I said Miss Marvel twice. I'm missing a show. Did you? Uh oh. Yeah. We'll find it. Don't worry. Yeah. We got we got other computers here, and we got two cups in a string. But let's let's start off with the number one show right now, and it's still number one, but it's barely holding off WandaVision for the number one slot. Ladies and gentlemen, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Where do we begin, Pablo? I think this is an A plus show. Yes. I think this is a home run show. Yes. I think this show will lead into a movie. Of course. This show is no-brainer. This is the show you booked 
We're sitting at the yeah. table with the other operators. This show is simple. There's nothing else to talk about. Falcon and the Winter Soldier, I don't even know. What, are you kidding me? These guys are a star within themselves. And Avengers Endgame, we ended it with them. Yeah. Anthony Mackie, Sebastian Stan, yo, yo P from uh, Captain America, the first Avenger. There's nothing to talk about here. We're going to get, see, at the end of the end game, if, you, if somebody didn't see it, Cap, old man Cap gave uh, the Falcon his shield. So everyone, you know, believes that he will be the Winter Soldier, but I mean, not the Winter Soldier, Captain America, the new Captain America, the black Captain America. But we all know, based on leaks and commercials, that that title will be taken from him. Of course. So we're all interested. So device. we're all interested. Yeah, yeah. So we're all and and Baron Zemo. Get, Come on, Pete. Exactly. Pete, this, yeah, is, this Baron is easy. Zemo. This is this is. Oh, are you kidding me? Book it, Dano. Yes. Yeah. Would you bet your paycheck? Yeah. I'll yes. bet my paycheck, his paycheck. There's nothing to talk about. This is done. Home run, done. And. And the Winter Soldier's road to redemption. The years of slaughter that he committed. He can't beat Cap because of all he's done. Yeah, oh but yeah. You That's can, what you that can was certainly about. tell. You can certainly tell from his look, from some of the, the the posters or whatever, that he's on a road to being the Bucky of old, but really can't beat. But P, I'm going to give you something. to reacclimate. I want to give you something so it can pop up on the screen. Gosh darn it. Don't he remind you of Jason Todd, the Red Hood? Yes! Oh, my God, I said it. Yeah. Yeah, that, wow. See, it's yeah. going to pop up on the screen, y'all. Y'all saw it there right now, right? We, we, we do these things on purpose. <laughs> this is done on purpose. <laughs> there is Red Hood. Only thing I can say about this, P, is I'm looking forward to the future. There's nothing else to tell. Uh, there's no controversy, and you see that piece. Just like you see how Marvel runs this show. There's no controversies. There's no sidetrack. There's no distraction. It's a well-oiled machine. And ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you don't appreciate it as much as I do. I don't like chaos. That's the kid across the street where they break the windows and stuff. I, I, I don't even go there. I walk on the other side of the street when I walk home. I, I don't want to see that kid. But anyway. Captain America's disappearance or time travel. We had this conversation before. Captain America's time travel that he did at the end of Avengers Endgame created a new reality. P, we talked about this. I don't know what reality we are in. I think overall, the Disney Plus show, Kevin Feige, they have to tell us where we're at. Do you agree? I don't know where we're Technically, I don't know where we're at. I know we're still structured. But they just have to yes. let us know. We yeah, just don't I mean, know. I right think now. everything that happened at Endgame, you know, leads into this. What hap What happens next? And is all up in the air, right? Yeah. Obviously, we know. Obviously, we know Falcon doesn't get, doesn't get the shield. He doesn't stay with the shield. Baron Zemo is up to no good again. Apparently, this is supposed to introduce the Thunderbolt. So there's going to be a lot of seed planting, and we get six episodes. I believe it's six episodes. Am I, am I correct? Correct. And then you also know the Marvel Universe is whole. Everybody's now back. Yeah. How are they going to introduce it? But that's another that's another show. We don't want to go down that show. That's another show. Okay, the number two on this hot list today. And this is the one that had me nervous. Or this is the one that I was kind of in the air. But right now, that, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're ahead, this show is right behind... Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and I think it has a little bit more curiosity to it than yes. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Ladies Absolutely. and gentlemen, one division will basically change everything again. Yes! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And, you know, obviously, in order to possibly understand the the, the, the new the universe things that happened, yeah, the, the new things universe? that happened in yeah. Doc. Doctor Strange and a Multiverse of Madness because this show leads into that. Yes. So Correct. I guess again have to watch the shows in order for you to keep up, basically. Because basically. the last July at the Comic Con, Wanda Vision, everybody was kind of 
Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, you give it Wanda and Vision a show, and they're gonna be like mm-hmm. a couple, and then you caught a glimpse of it in Infinity War, and you said, yeah. "Okay, I can watch it." But ladies and gentlemen, let me assure you: since last July, to us talking to you tonight, guess what? That show, that premise, is gonna be full is the of hottest goodness. property over on Disney Plus. You because one division might introduce everything. Galactus, the surfer, uh how many what Cap did when he went back in time. We I mean Doom. Doom. Victor Von Doom, mutants. I mean WandaVision it did this is the game changer. You couldn't have, you couldn't have told us last July WandaVision was the most important thing coming out of the new Disney Plus schedule. You couldn't have told us. We thought it was just her and him and the life together, maybe the government's after them. No, buddy, it's bigger than that. One division changes the game. Um, any, <laughs> I know, I'm just putting this out there, boys and girls. Any negativity, P, I got nothing to say about one division. I'm just sitting back and waiting. I got nothing to say. What is there to say? It might not work. Were you crazy? No, no, no. This, this is, is again. This is a show where everybody's going to be breaking down as much as humanly possible in order to sort of uh, foresee into the future aspects of what storylines they will be introduced in the MCU. Oh yeah, One Division will cause us to forecast for days and days and months and months. One Division is the hook. We are now hooked yes! on One Division. It'll be interesting to see how long it goes. I, I don't see it going for too many seasons. It's fighting for the number one seed, period. I mean, yeah, this yeah, show yeah. is going to change everything. Now we come into the crop of shows that I'm going to save the What If show for last because What If is animated show and What If yeah. is What If. That's, that's completely, uh, that's a different bird. That's a different subject. Yeah, yeah. And these three shows and, then, and they're not part of the, the new ones, but the, these three shows, and we can lump them up like this. Hawkeye, Loki, and I'm going to say it, Miss Marvel. These oh, three we're gonna shows... we're going to have to debate Loki. We're going to have to debate Loki. Listen, these three shows, ladies and gentlemen, we're putting it out there. Hawkeye, Loki, and Miss Marvel. Hawkeye. I personally have minimum expectations. I would give this a B show because to me, unless they could do it like Winter Soldier, they can keep keep if they keep the spy genre or something like that. P, I'm putting it right, mm-hmm. I'm putting it on tape right now. I'd give it maybe two seasons. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna tell you, and I'm, I'm gonna t- we're gonna tell everybody why we're giving things a certain amount of season. And, and, and it's obvious reason why. We talked about it yesterday. Here's the reason why you're going to only have these things are going to be on a timetable. But why? Why can't they just? No, we're going to tell you why. It's, you know, we're going to tell you why. I give this show a B rating. And I think maybe two seasons. Why? Mm-hmm. If they keep it a spy assassin thing, a little bit development on Hawkeye, maybe developing his daughter as they said they would. Okay, um, but I also think Hawkeye is a plot device to feed into other shows or introduce other characters. See, with all these yes. shows, ladies and gentlemen, characters can be introduced that will prime, that might wind up in Spider-Man or might wind up in an Avenger movie or might wind up in a Fantastic Four movie or maybe somebody dropped a file with the name Juggernaut on it. Yeah. I mean, you understand what we're saying. We, remember, we're, they're at the table spitballing. So, Pete, how do you see Hawkeye? I see. I give it a B rating, two seasons. Mate, two seasons, period. All these shows, and I was going to say this at the end, but all these shows is just more exposition into the bigger stuff, right? Okay. These are all seed planters. Like okay. how many seeds can we Universe plant building. in a movie, yes. right? Universe building, yes. So the things that Hawkeye did, that even Rhodey was like, yo, I don't even want to find them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't want to find them. Yeah, he he did some things. Yeah! If we are taking to taken to a place after Endgame where 
all the things that he's done come back to haunt him. Hence why he has to train his daughter to be as skilled as he is. Okay. Think about it. That's the only storyline that yeah. make that. Yeah. That's the only storyline that makes sense to me. Okay. And what, what's your rating? What do you give it? I gave it B. I'm uh, only giving it B because I, I, I haven't seen anything. You, yeah. You, I don't know what it looks like. It could look yeah, like the Terminator yeah. movie. It could look like he's always fighting. I mean, they could go that route. I mean, they can if, go the route if, of if giving them exposition. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. If it's what I'm thinking, then I'm going to give it an A. Okay. And, 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 and that's possible. I mean, and I only gave it a B because I guess I'm playing it safe, and I gave it two seasons, I guess because I'm playing it safe, because right now, ladies and gentlemen, because of that personal problem that he had, where po quite possibly Disney was about to cut him off because of the personal <laughs> issue, obviously that got resolved, yeah. or, or it won't be an interference, and, and maybe the time off for a lot of things was a good thing. Yeah. I mean, there was a rumor going around, not to jump off the subject, and I'm not. Um, the Eternals were going into post-production problems because most of their costumes are CGI. And so, if but before you start panicking, oh man, the costumes are CGI. Remember, the Black Order were completely CGI, and I didn't hear anybody complaining about nope. them from Infinity War and Endgame. Yep. Those characters, yep. the costumes, Thanos, everybody looked great. Yes! So if the Eternals costumes. Or CGI, I, I think everybody should, could relax. I don't, yeah. I don't think it's not the old days where you said CGI. Oh my God! Don't think Green Lantern, <laughs> uh, Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern. No, don't think that. That was that was crazy. But no. no, um, that's how we feel about Hawkeye. I think that's why we gave it a B. I think that's going forward, ladies and gentlemen. I'm giving, it, I'm, I'm giving it an A. I'm giving, you're giving it, it an A. a I'm speculating. Yeah, and you know yeah, what? Yeah, I kind of, yeah, I I'll support suspect. you, but I'm going to fall back, ladies and gentlemen. Loki. Now, this one's a little tricky for me um, because this involves what happened after he took the Space Gem in Avengers Endgame. Yes! That story within itself is not interesting if at the end of it, I'm just watching Loki bounce through time and space. Like, what is he doing? I hope this is not like a goofball show. That he, I, I mean, I didn't know what to call of it. But apparently, the Time Authority is going to be joining. You're going to see, you already see Owen Wilson in this. So there's going to be a little goofiness in there. Oh, man. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't get this show. The Time Authority is in it. I guess they're chasing him. Okay, is this like Back to the Future? Okay, and then, and it's not really Tom Hiddleston, right? It's going to be a younger actor or something? I don't think it's I Tom Hiddleston. Mean, He's doing voiceovers uh, or something? I think there will be some story being told when he was young, him narrating it, and we'll see that actor. Uh, I think, I mean, we've already seen some uh, leaked uh, photos on set of him yeah, Loki. Tom Hiddleston yeah. has been on set. Okay. Okay, so the Time Variance Authority yeah. is a huge indication yeah. based on yeah. what I've heard that is a, is a huge seed planted for uh, Kang. Wow. Wow, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Kang the Conqueror. Knowing those things is what has me curious. If it's not that... Yeah, just being Loki all across... I mean... It's got to have something. It's so it's so funny, ladies and gentlemen, how we, we signify. That's why we cropped these three shows in their own little mist. Because Falcon, Winter Soldier, and WandaVision is a direct course. We can we already know what's going on. We can start forecasting. Hawkeye, Hawkeye is kind of like in the middle. Hawkeye could, Hawkeye could turn out to be great. Um, the Loki show. This is the one I said. I don't know. I mean, to me, Loki show is just about as ambiguous as as they left the red skull on that planet with the i, I mean what's going like see a show like this there's a lot of exposition that has to be explained the, 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 i don't know p I, i'm gonna fall back i'm gonna give this show a c wow and i give it I'm, one season um, and i'm only one doing season, it because I don't one know season is about all show. it may need one season may, is all they may need. 
They I'm may getting, do two, but I, no more than that. I, I, so what rating are you giving it? It's not, it's not. A, it's, a, a B plus. You're putting it above Hawkeye and right underneath WandaVision and Falcon? Really? Yeah, because we're familiar with Loki. We, we, we know what Loki's about, right? And it's going to lead towards other things. That's why okay, the seed okay, planting of okay, Marvel is okay, what leads okay. me to be interested. Okay. If Loki now, once again, okay, there's a caveat. If we're going to say all of these shows, and I, now I understand how uh, you're grading these shows. All of these shows will be C plotting. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I, right now, I'm still giving it a C only because I really don't know it. And I, I just mm -hmm. can't see which way it's going. And I gave it one season. How many? You said it might only need one season. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And look at that narration of his past, of his, you know, younger self. Well, I mean, how, maybe, how far back it, you? How far back I you don't know. When, when I don't know. But I think up, like, what, what? no. I think it'll be moments that he remembers that he was different. I think it's gonna okay. ask okay. the fans to really connect with Loki a little, and a Lo little knowing who he is, but still a look little at him Brady as a Bunch fan favorite. Angst. A little. He, so he's like Peter on the Brady Bunch. <laughs> he's, he's in between Greg <laughs> and Overbuy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, here's the one that I want to talk about that you guys helped me. I don't know. Ladies and gentlemen, Marvel's going to introduce for the first time a new superhero, an old super, a new superhero with an old name. Kamala Khan is the inheritor or she took over the name of Miss Marvel. Now, yeah. if you're a Gen X like me, Miss Marvel was always who we currently call Captain Marvel. She was always Carol, and she always wore high heel thigh boots, a black uh, a black uh, bathing suit with a with a red sash on the hip, and she was bad. She was bad. She was all <laughs> listen. She's always been bad. Yeah. But um, with Miss Khan is a teenager. Same age as Spider-Man, and she, um, she's she been introduced. Uh, basically, um, they added some diversity to a certain segment. And um, uh, this show, ladies and gentlemen, I think this show is a test run. Um, I'll give it the caveat, like you said, where every show will be able to plant seeds. Um, I don't know if they'll use her show to plant seeds for a more cosmic level uh, build out. Um, it's go I'm going to go by season by season, and we're going to tell you why we gave the season ratings at the end of this after we do all the show because there's one big caveat that everybody will agree to, and you'll say, "Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah." But anyway, not about the diversity, not about a teenage show. I just think the introduction of this character will be pretty much relegated to being not as I, I, not I don't I don't know I don't, I don't know the words <laughs> to use here um I'm, I don't want to say not anything. not exciting not exciting this is not, not exciting. even so much exciting when the caveat that we explain later comes out that you said maybe if it goes to another station a show like Miss Marvel is safe but if the caveat comes to Disney Plus a show like Miss Marvel's gone. That's that's, uh, that's again. Simple. I don't know if that's necessarily true. Okay, um, but let's let's save that. Uh, let's save that for the audience at the end of the yeah. show. Right now, I give Miss mm -hmm. Marvel a C rating, and I don't call the seasons. I I, I can't call this one. Um, I just don't think I can't. I, I'll compare it to this. There are some shows out there that are very popular amongst younger people. Uh, what's that? American Dream or football? Okay, so you're going by demo. The demo will yes. dictate. Yes. If this I show think survives, that is the audience that they are going for. This is the audience that they're going for, especially demo when... dictated, ladies and gentlemen. Demo dictated. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we may not like it. I mean, are we going to be forced to watch it? Of course. Why? Because Kevin said, Kevin <laughs> if you want to yeah. know you have to watch what happens show in this it, film, yeah. you got to watch this show. So I'll watch it. 
I, and you know, I may not like it. This, you know, this may be a show that you know may 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 that that demo will 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 especially you know female demographics, teenagers will connect with, and and I, I think that's what Disney is going for. And we're not taking shots at that demo. Listen, I watched Sabrina. In a heartbeat on Netflix, you kidding me? Oh, I watched Sabrina, and you and you know we love Castlevania, but Castlevania is not, and Sabrina is not this. De, de, it might be this demo, but it's not this element. It's completely different. Um, I don't know. Uh, will this help flush out Spider Man and the Sony verse? I don't know. Is she part of that core group of Spider Man, Kid Nova, like on the cartoons? On yeah. XD, maybe. I, I, I don't Avengers? know. I can't call this one. I can't yeah. call this one. I just, you know, hey, there might be C's to the greater universe. Right now, that's what gives it a C. Because other than that, I yeah. would say, why are you even doing this show? I'll give it a C. I'll give it, I'll give it a C. Uh, you know, why are you even doing this show? Okay. Mm. Now the two shows that fall back into the category of interesting, but let's see where they go. I'm going to save the better ones for last. Ah, uh, now you guys are wondering, is he talking about She-Hulk or Moon Knight? She-Hulk or Moon Knight? Yes, I'm talking about Moon Knight will go last because that's going to be the better yes! thing. She-Hulk. This one is, is, this one's hard, ladies and gentlemen. And I know a friend of mine was talking to me. What's up, D? This show, which way are they going to go? Are they going to go superhero She-Hulk or are they going to go Businesswoman, lawyer, She-Hulk. Is this? Will this be? I got it. Will this be the new Murphy Brown? Will this be a Murphy mm. Brown show of superhero shows? Mm. And and if yeah. you do that, I don't think you'll keep the interest. And even if you don't keep the interest, will you keep the show running and just swallow the losses and ratings? I, it's one of those shows, P. It's one of those shows. Mm. Am I keeping yeah. it because it's like Murphy Brown? We want diversity. Or will you make it She-Hulk is fighting Murdoch and She-Hulk introduces Doc Samson. She-Hulk introduces yeah. Hercules. I mean, what, what are you going to do with this? What do you think? Right now, to me, this is another, this is another, I guess I'll give this show a B show because I love She-Hulk. I love John yeah. Burns' run on She-Hulk. But I don't know what they're doing. What do you think? My my concern is with is how is this gonna look? That's my concern. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. How is and this gonna look? The Hulk is expensive. My, the, the Hulk is expensive. The Hulk is CGI. expensive. But how is she gonna look? Is she gonna look like a regular chick that's green and big? Or how, that's my, I, I want to know how this is gonna work. Depending on how many episodes, let's say it's six. Let's let's say it's six. We probably won't see it till episode four, maybe five. Oh, really? You're the predicting four, that five. they're gonna save the yeah. they're gonna save the uh, production budget yeah. for the <laughs> yeah, of course. And plus, we don't need to see what happens right right now, right? Who knows if they even started off with that whole situation where Bruce has to um, Bruce has give it, to uh, give it a chance to use you. Well, yeah, that's why I'll give it a B. I'll give it a B because I'll, I'll, if B it introduces Murdoch and 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 aim and, yeah. and, 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 and they really get into advanced ideas mechanics. I mean, I mean, if they yeah. actually introduce uh, graviton, I mean, I don't know. Um, if they could do stuff on Agents of Shield, let's see what they do with the She Hulk. But it, are they going for like a, a Supergirl? And yeah. oh, I mean, but Supergirl's easy because Supergirl's not. A CGI character, you, she could put the costume on. Melissa puts the costume on, and that. But doing the Hulk and the She-Hulk, that's expensive. So what are we? So so what are we saying about She-Hulk? Uh, 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 we give it a B. How many seasons? For me, to be determined. To be determined. I, again, I'm I don't for know. all these series is going to be two to three. Some just maybe one. It all depends on what the plan is. I, I don't. I don't foresee. Because these these shows may lead into other shows of other characters. You know what I'm saying? So okay, okay. They, they, they're not gonna. We're not gonna see six seasons or seven seasons of a show. I don't think. Oh no 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 no. And and, and, and with that saying, ladies and gentlemen, the other show that I had mentioned, this show to me a plus 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 plus. Why? Just like Wandavision, Moon Knight will introduce 
a whole new facet to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, just like Doctor Strange did. Moon Knight is going to introduce science, sorcery, magic, everything. Yes! That's why I give this show an A++ because not only will it plant seeds to Blade, look who's in it. Werewolf by Night. Next thing you know, I mean, go back to your 1970s and, and look who his adversary, we already know. Ladies and gentlemen, Marvel Cinematic Universe is already introducing Dracula. This is, yeah. this is another one. Home run, done, wrap. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. The Moon Knight will be someone with psychological problems. He hears voices yeah. in his head. Now, one of the voices is the uh, Egyptian god talking to him. The other voices in his head, the man's um, schizophrenic. This is going to yeah. be great. This is going to be great. What I'm looking forward to seeing is the graphic violence, because that will tell me whether Daredevil, Punisher, definitely Punisher, and some other shows will go to Hulu instead of Disney Plus because of its content. Yeah! And ladies and gentlemen, because there's the content. caveat. There's the one we were saying, saving for the end of the show. We have those shows that used to be on Netflix. Those shows, once they're launched, will determine whether or not any of the shows that were announced last July, how many seasons they will get. And I'm talking about Miss Marvel. If Daredevil's on Disney Plus, a show like Miss Marvel won't get canceled. It's just going to get bumped out because the other yeah. shows will have higher ratings. And that's what yeah. we were talking about. Those Marvel Netflix shows, if they come back, it's going to be hard to keep everybody in the same house. And let's pee. Disney, Disney plans on taking a loss with some of these other shows. And they'll just bite the bullet. But I just can't see anybody yeah. doing that now. Why would you take a loss? Yeah. Again, if they target the right demographic of what they want, they're still winning. Because the, the whole point is to get millions of subscribers to pay you okay. a yeah. month yeah. $10 at some point. Because the price is going to go up. At some of course. Point. Yes! That's monthly income that you don't even got to worry about. Yeah, <laughs> you know? In. And then the amusement parks and everything is, is giving you time for the world to get back to normal. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they have to target all those demographics in order to get all generations. So what are you giving? Stuff. What are you giving Moon Knight? I said A plus plus. What are you giving? A, oh no, a, yeah, A plus, A plus, A plus, because it's definitely A going to introduce a character who's very complex. Yep. And some say some comparing to Batman, so we'll get a sort of glimpse as to what Batman has to be in order to be successful. Yes. So there's a lot to see in this show, and I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, Moon Knight, I think is on par. With Falcon, with a soldier, WandaVision being just automatic home run. Yeah. It's just, it's just automatic. They, you, they would have to literally mess this up to mess this up. And they usually yeah. don't do that. Their track record is standing. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least in our roundtable event, um, the What If series. I think this one's very simple. I think this one's easy. Very simple. This one, I would give it a B plus rating with seasons um, seasons one and two automatic. They can do two seasons, yeah. especially if it's six episodes. You'll want to yeah. see. It's so simple, ladies and gentlemen. The more other content they do, the more what ifs they can do. I'm not too yeah. particular Excited by what if Peter Parker became Hawkeye? Nah. I'm like, like what, what the hell? Well, how did that happen? If they can how explain did... it and make it sound like, make it make sense, then who knows? But this is being treated, again, Marvel is tackling all sorts of niches with how they're doing their stuff. This sort of, if you've ever seen, um, what's that, what's that um, show, uh, Black, Black Mirror? Twilight Zone is those one-offs. Out of limits, yeah, and, of course. Yeah, 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 and and that's what that's what they're doing with what if. I'm looking forward to it, especially if if it's the Watcher doing it, or if it's the if the Watcher is in it. Oh yeah, there narrating it is. Narrating this, I, <laughs> there it is. I'm all in. If I'm the Watcher is doing it, we have watches. What if Thanos didn't go to Xandar? What if? I mean, the what if is so easy. That's, that's a home run. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, so we give we give that show. I gave it a B plus. We you got think you giving it? I'm gonna give it an A. A. I'm giving it an A. And seasons, they they can do this forever. Yeah. So that's why I'm mad because yeah. it, this is not hard. What if we'll operate off of existing content? This, this is easy. Yeah. Wow. So there we have. We did our Disney Plus roundtable, MCU Future Series. Nobody else is talking about the Disney Plus shows. I guess based on the fact that people aren't talking because they need more stuff to come out. I just, we just basically around here, we just needed the titles because we know the history. And I think we can do a little conjecture. That's exactly what we did. We forecasted. We speculated. Um, yeah. Looking forward to, obviously, WandaVision. Falcon and Winter Soldier, Moon Knight, yeah. Hawkeye yeah. Could, could be great also. Yeah. The three yeah. that was up there, Loki, She-Hulk, and Miss Marvel. Yeah. D- don't know. I think Loki is the more promising of that group, don't you? Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. She-Hulk, will this be Murphy Brown? I don't know if it's going to be Murphy Brown. I really, you know, I don't know. Miss Marvel, that's a completely different demo. I can't even forecast. What if the kids don't like it? Oh, well then. But there are other characters I'm pretty sure they could use in the future for that demographic. And there's so many things that they can play with. So I'm not even tripping off of Miss Marvel. Miss Marvel, I think, is a is a testing the water sort of character because it's okay. doing something okay. different, right? They're doing okay. something different with this. So they're taking a leap of faith into a character who certainly fits in within a specific demographic that may inspire and pe- and kids may want to in- see this. So it's a win if, if they can do it. If they don't, we'll see. They'll have okay. to reassess. But I don't think they'll let, they'll give up on that demo because it's there. Oh, no. they yeah, But it might... Ne- not necessarily be Miss Marvel. Yeah, I, I think that's Miss, Miss, I think that's safe to say. Yeah, yeah, it might not necessarily be Miss Marvel. Wow, this was a great show. We're glad we put this together. And before we leave, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of uh, Nerd Generation and Aget News, we give our respect and. Um, Inspiration, and we wish the family of Mr. Denny O'Neill, a legend in the genre. He changed Batman from the campy 1960s TV show. He brought Batman back to life. Not only that, he also brought up social commentary and awareness through the comic book venue of real-world situations. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what they call a pioneer in any industry. We pay our respects and admiration, and we say thank you. Uh, thank you. I, uh, I've heard from a lot of people that, you know, if you didn't know his history, learn the history. Um, it's funny. The man worked at Charlton Comics. I, 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 I had a couple of comic books from Charlton Comics. I mean, that's when... They, you know, Marvel wasn't great. DC was always around, but that's before the industry really exploded. But yeah. his greatest claim, um, if you guys didn't know, he also was consultant on Tim Burton's Batman 1989. Uh, okay. Just changed the game. I mean, him and Neil Adams changed the game with Batman, and they changed the game with Green Lantern and Green Arrow. Um, yeah. It's a shame that Freddie hasn't been able to do one of these shows because he actually met and has spoken to, yeah, he, uh, yeah, to d- him. Yeah, as a matter of fact, we spoke to him a long time ago. Uh, uh, you, guys, you, know, you guys know Brooklyn Bridge. Brooklyn Bridge worked at DC uh, Comics. Brooklyn Bridge knew him personally. He, they met, they talked, they chopped it up sometimes. Uh, they, they, I didn't say that they were uh, this or that, but he knew of them, yeah. and when it happened, he informed me because I didn't even know. I was so busy, and he told me what happened with uh, Mr. O'Neill. Um, yeah. there, there's something, he was on the uh, phone we, with we me say, for like an hour. Yeah. <laughs> there's something we say um, around here. Um, Legends never die, and heroes live forever. 
And I think yeah. Mr. O'Neill, legend will never die and heroes do live forever. And we just want to, we're part of that community too. And um, we just want to give a, sh- uh, a, a, a shout out to that. Um, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back sooner than later. We're cranking our shows as uh, quickly as possible, as much as possible. We have another yeah. episode of the MCU Future Series. We're not going to announce it here. We're going to save that. But um, this is great. And you guys, we're all looking forward towards the Disney Plus shows. I think that's, that's common knowledge. And I think we're all just looking forward to just having Marvel back in the circular. Um, Zack Snyder's Justice League grabbed the headlines, but I'm sure once Kevin and the team put more information out, they'll retake the headlines immediately. Um, yeah. Um, I want to just give a shout out to uh, someone who I'll also talk about this subject um, with, uh, Mr. Brian Schultz. Uh, also want to give a shout out to Mr. Alex Bernstein, who to me is like an encyclopedia. You and, and you and Alex are like encyclopedias, Trey. <laughs> and uh, I can listen to that guy for hours talking about, you know, all the stuff that he, yeah, he knows he's the best. He's the about best. the genre. Um, I want to say give a shout out also to Freddie. Uh, hope he comes back for a show. Uh, also give a shout out to his brother, Daryl. Uh, who does amazing, amazing work with 3D printing and props yep. for absolutely anything. Broken nerd, the broken nerd. Check yep. out. Yes, I will. I will put his, a link to his channel and his Instagram in the description below. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank everybody who's been listening to the show. I've gotten a lot of great feedback, and and we love doing the show. We love talking business, you know, and realities. When it's not just fanfare. Yeah, not just fan. We give, oh, we, 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 we give it up to 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 those uh, uh, shows or, or movies that do a good job in portraying the characters. The ones that don't, they get it. You know, we we we, we don't. We love the genre, but there are things that we do we love and things that we don't love, and and we really go into those things as well. So this is a real honest show. And yeah. again, I want to just thank everybody who's been listening and continue to listen and continue to share with other people who are into this into this uh, genre as, as, as much as we are. That's right. And the flame still stay hot. The flame is still hot. Just look at uh, Amazon Prime's The Boys and also look at Netflix, The Umbrella Academy. The flame is hot. They're, they're not cheapening out. They're not getting less and less. Um... We said DC Universe's Swamp Thing was well written. We said DC Universe's Titans. The only thing Titans need is a bigger budget. And that show is just yeah. forget about it. Um, yeah. The flame is still hot in the genre. Let's keep the flame. And we know once the, once the world gets spinning again, the production will ramp up and we'll be back to where we were before things had changed. So this was the MCU Future Series Disney Plus shows. shows. This was great. You guys chime in. Let us know which show you're really looking forward to. Um, somebody might say they're looking forward to uh, Hawkeye. Is Hawkeye could be turn out to be the 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 one nobody saw coming. But then again, you really should have saw it coming. All the elements were already there. But anyway, we're gonna sign off. This is Tracy at Spidey Four Nine Nine Four AK News signing off. Pete. Uh, oh, I just want to also tell you guys, if you want to submit some questions, I'm going to put the link in the description or the email in the description. You can email us questions and we'll probably take the opportunity to, depending on how good the question, the question got to be good. It can't be, <laughs> wow. you know, um, and we'll, we'll take a moment to answer it on, on the show. Um, other than that, you know, this is Nerd Generation signing off. <laughs>